What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Worlds and today we're going to be going ahead and trying out our first ever building episode. So today is going to be focused on just building. It's not going to be about completing the game or getting any gold bricks or trying to make progress in that way with our discoveries or anything. Today is focused on building. Now I'm not incredibly far into the game if you've been watching the series. I'm making more progress. I have 23 gold bricks but I don't have a ton discovered. I plan on doing actually a discovery live stream soon so I thought what is something I can do right Right now as a building episode that doesn't require too much stuff and I can just sort of build with the landscape tools and I was thinking a motorcycle track especially since actually that's something they showed off in the trailer for a second and we just unlocked the motorcycle in episode 5 of Lego World so I have it right here it is an off-road motorcycle so my goal is in my favorite world so far which is this world right here it is um a I guess a plains biome with a town right next to it I figured it would be cool if we can make a bit of a motorcycle track around here and just sort of like try to plan out something maybe like something that even goes through like the city I don't know though <laughs> we'll have to see but some sweet jumps we'll have to practice around with it a lot and I think our first idea should probably be to make the landscape tool um our best friend today so that's gonna be the big goal but of course it is just you know one of the many building topics we can have in a series like this so if you ever have any ideas for a building series feel free to let me know in the comments section or not, or not a series but like if you have you know like a topic in mind something you would like me to build in a series like this let me know all right so i didn't mean to do that <laughs> let's go ahead and remove that so we can of course just add stuff with the creation tool or the landscape tool but is there there's a build tool well, i think i want the landscape tool i think i just need to go here we can add or remove we can raise and lower and that's this is probably where we're going to be using most things we can flatten things out a little bit we can smooth it and that's going to be very helpful as well we have replacing as well so let's go ahead first off and raise and lower things which is going to be the best one to make jumps we're going to have to make a few practice ones but i think this will be a pretty nice jump maker right here and we don't we might want to make like a small track at first maybe like a small circular one and then work ourselves out a little bit so we can uh raise it a little bit like this and then I can also how do I size up no that's gonna that's moving me down and up okay there we go I apparently can't read let's go ahead and like make our first jump and you can see it's sort of a very square jump so I was thinking I could do that and then I could like make it like sort of like it a, a two-step jump so you like launch off that and you go off that so like I, I sort of have to do some practice of first of course so let's make this square smooth so like and forming the jumps is gonna be a big challenge at first, but of course, once we get used to it, I think it'll be much easier. And of course, if you guys have made your own motorcycle track, let me know. So at first, I'm gonna be trying some basic stuff just to sort of get an idea of how we can make these jumps. This guy with the golden brick is tempting me. I ha I might have to go for that, because that's just a free golden brick. <laughs> come on, come on, you get back here. Free golden brick, I gotta get it. And this episode might be a little long, because of course, it takes time to build things, especially if you wanna build them well. There we go. Give me that gold brick, dude. And then we'll launch our motorcycle off this jump and sort of see what kind of airtime we can get. And like if we hit it at full speed and making turns and stuff might be a little bit difficult. But once we like sort of lay out the jumps that we like, that's when things are gonna get, you know, nice and interesting because then we can of course paint it, you know, dirt colored. That way it looks like a dirt bike track. Maybe we can get like some, oh, yeah, look at that. Let's try that again. Let's try to get some good speed on it. But. Um, we can even maybe get some bleachers, sort of like, what if this is like a town that just loves motocross a lot? Whoa! Okay, it's a tough jump to make. So our first jump's gonna be a pretty, you know, tough jump to make. It's, but that's okay. Maybe we could also make some, you know, like some easier jumps. Maybe some like smaller jumps that are harder to ride on. So you have to like keep your stability in check. That would be a lot of fun. Okay, so now I'm trying to make like a collection of smaller jumps. Of course, if you've ever seen actual motocross before, I'm, I'm guessing some of you have, some of you haven't. They usually have small sections or smaller little jumps that you can't exactly jump off of, but they're difficult to, you know, like sort of stay on and go quickly on. Could whoops, usually they call them that. I think that's sort of the lingo for them. I've ridden on a few motorcycle tracks, but like not a huge ton um just when i was younger so <laughs> imagine a zebra on a motorcycle it, it's happened now it's possible okay so there's like some of so let's i feel like i need to like let's do also like a longer but smaller jump something where we can get a lot of airtime on it but we can also stay to the ground also so i can go ahead and change my shape like this this is more of a dome shape that's a plateau Ooh, there's like a ton of different wait wait, wait. where's the peak let me see the peak one again oh i like that a lot let's go ahead and increase the size of that and try to do a bit of this good 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 and then i just sort of want to keep that height and then i'll try to flatten it out wherever i need to but hmm for now 
Let's try to make this nice and long. This will be a pretty cool one too. And then like we'll try to make a turn after this and we'll, we'll try to we'll, we'll try to make it a pretty long track, like enjoyable. And make it so that you can make a lap around and everything. All right, so terraforming is actually really interesting. It's not something I'm of course too used to doing. So this guy <laughs> is really trying to be mean to me here. Okay, so that's okay. Let me, I don't know, maybe I wanna undo that one. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna undo those, because you want these to be rough. I wish that I actually made the peaks higher. But I mean, that was supposed to be the pyramid shape. It's weird to get like a very specific shape you want. Let's go ahead and tone down the size of this one a little bit. Dude, you are in the way of my motorcycle track, and you're not even on a motorcycle. You gotta stop that. See, I want this one to be sort of like a tabletop shape, like on the top of it, so that would be pretty cool to do this. But this is more smoothing it out than it is flattening it. I mean, that might work. But now what we should try to do is we should try to make a turn, and making a turn is probably going to be pretty difficult. Like, I don't know if there's really a supporting shape or wrong place to make a turn. Like, I might have to like build one brick by brick, depending on what we have. I don't know, it might be weird. Um, I would think the best way to do it, like this is replacing, this is smoothing, flatten, raise and lower, is like to maybe make, hmm. I guess like, I would say a dome. Let's make a dome like, here. And, like let's make like sort of like a like a half circle of domes. And then carve them out to sort of make a berm. Cause I don't wanna just make like, like a simple turn. I wanna make like an actual berm that you would like lean into. Think like, you know, like an actual, you know, motorcycle track or like even like if you like watch NASCAR, you know how like the turns are curved so that you can sort of ride them to, you know, increase your speed. That's sort of the whole idea. All right then, so I've gotten sort of the circle here. I love how it'll actually change the lighting when you're building so that you can see it more easy, like when it's dark. That's actually a nice touch. I like that. So we're gonna go to the landscape tool, and let's go to smoothing, and I might wanna make it a circle. Let's try, you know, like smoothing it as a circle and sort of see how that works. Nope, that, um, not what I wanted. Am I on the wrong tool? This is flatten. Yeah, I want smooth. So let's smooth it as a circle. I'll make it like a little bit bigger, that's sort of what I want, and I really want it to like lean in so that you can sort of sharply take the turn. Let's actually make it bigger then. And that's sort of what I want right there, I think. I mean, it looks a little weird, and of course, like I said, this is my first time terraforming. It's gonna take a little bit, but you know, maybe it's a turn that we can sort of go in wide and then you cut in sharp. Like there's no real wrong way to do it, you know? It's just a matter of, you know, doing whichever way looks cool and would be fun to ride. So there we go, we got a few jumps set up. I gotta clear out some of the, you know, the the, the, the plants and stuff in the way. But I think we got a few jumps, we got a turn. I feel like maybe right here I need to like, the entrance of the turn needs to be fixed up a little bit. So it's like more enterable. There we go. That should be a little better, I think. Let's try that, where's my motorcycle? It's way over there, I'm just gonna spawn in another. I'm gonna spawn in a few, that way like no matter where I am, I can just try one out and hopefully they won't get in the way. All right, let's go ahead and get that. Man, this is gonna be a lot of fun, I'm already having a lot of fun just sort of trying this out. And like I said, once we uh, get like, you know, sort of a setup we like, we can go ahead and try to um just sort of like make it look like a real racetrack. But first we wanna, you know, th figure out the layout. There's cows in the way, oh, I got steak. Sure, game sharing. Sure. Um, jump, I missed. <laughs> it's tough to stay on that one. Oh geez, oh geez. And of course, these vehicles aren't the easiest to control, so you have to give it some leniency as well. But it's still, the concept is what's fun. Let's go ahead and try that again though. Ready, big jump. Oh, that one's tough to make, but we've made it before. <laughs> and you can see it's hard to stay on on those parts there. Well, let's try it one more time. But I like what we have so far. I think we're gonna keep it. Whoa. This jump might here actually might have to be a little more flattened. So let's try that out. Let's try flattening that with the landscape tool and or smoothing it. And like let's smooth it out to here. Yeah, that's way better right there. I like that. I mean, I think it still needs to be smoothed out by a good amount. Like maybe if I did it like that. It's just like this is a very sharp thing. But I feel like that's better right there. Then this guy just took this, <laughs> this guy's trying to ride his cow on the on the race. Like, sorry buddy, this is for motorcycles only. No cows, if you get hurt or if your cow gets hurt, I can't claim liability for that, that's all on you. Another gold, why don't I ever get you when I'm actually trying to get gold bricks? I'll get 25 gold bricks now. 
I don't know if this is something I want to do. <laughs> well, now I guess I'll entice people who are watching the normal series to watch the building episodes as well. Come on, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I gotta get it. Come on, it's a free gold brick. There we go, there's gold brick number 25. Yeah, I want to hear all kinds of cool building ideas from you guys. This gold brick is very <laughs> tantalizing. It's just sort of flying around me. There we go, it's trophy earned. We are level six now. Hey, glad to see. Very glad to see indeed. We're one quarter of the way becoming master builder, which is pretty cool. So, you know, I, of course, being a master builder, I want to be able to actually build. So that's my big goal with like, you know, having building episodes like this. So I want to go ahead and try the turn at the least. I feel like I haven't tried the turn out too much. So we're gonna go ahead and give it one more lap. Actually, before I do, I'm gonna flatten out this area because I feel like I need like more of a starting. So let's go ahead and um, flatten this just like this. Um, I will increase the size quite a lot, just like this. Now, it's gonna look ugly in some spots, but we can always heal up the area in our own ways later. There we go. So let's go ahead and get the vehicle, place it right here. I see there's another gold brick waiting for us over there. Don't really care right now. So now we can get a good start to it and jump. There we go. Oh boy, oh boy. Once you land that first jump, it's pretty tough. Oh, we might wanna make the turn a little taller. And let's see if we can't do it backwards. Now, usually these kind of tracks, they don't work out so well backwards because obviously it's meant to go one specific way, but oh, especially if you overturn it. But all right, I sort of get the idea though. I think it's fun. So now we gotta make like another return set of jumps and then maybe we could have like a cool straightaway and this can be like sort of the starting area. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So this right here is gonna be our starting area and I think what I'll do is instead of having a long straightaway, I'll have like a big hill to start on. So it's sort of like you start going down it and you have to end going up it, so it's pretty tough. But how do we wanna do that? First off, let's go ahead and build, let's raise and lower. And I think I'll make it cubicle. Or actually, instead, let's go ahead and landscape, try this plateau shape. And I probably should change my costume. I've been wearing this costume for a little while. I'm the forest man for a good chunk of time now. I actually wanna make it like pretty big, like this. There we go, and this is gonna be our starting hill. Now it's obviously a little too tall in shape, but we're gonna flatten that out quite a lot. So um, let me go ahead and, um, well, what's the best choice here? Probably this? Man, there is like everything happening right now. I'm just trying to flatten out this terrain so it's like a actual jump. And <laughs> there is a troublemaker. There are zombies attacking me. I just, I can't get a moment to think around here. Maybe I chose a worse area than I thought to start building. I'm not sure, of course you can like, once you become a master builder, I think it's easier to create bigger worlds and stuff. So I'm sure that would make it easier. But I'm just trying to get this flattened down a little bit more. It's a little tough to, like I wanted this sort of be like a more of an incline, but it's it's really hard to control that kind of stuff here. But I'll go ahead and I'll give it a shot. This guy, these guys just won't calm down. I might just let them destroy me because they're just being too much right now. Come on, get rid of me. Dig away now, get out of my sights. Okay. Now that that's not our problem anymore, let me destroy this flower and, uh, hmm. Hey, let's get another motorcycle out here, just like this, start on the top of the hill. And then, ooh, and now we can get like this cool starting if you actually start from like the straightaway. Oh my gosh, it is tough though, it's like genuinely difficult. Maybe if I try it in first person, maybe then I'll make it like, like super difficult. But we'll try it in first person. Oh no, you just can't see where you're going. <laughs> oh no, absolutely not happening that way. But I did make the jump. I did indeed make the jump. There's another troublemaker with a gold brick. I've never seen so many. So I've sort of made this like, of course that, this is a starting area and then this is how you would like finish your race and make another lap as you curve around and you come up like this. Now of course I'm not like a, you know, a major super track designer. So some things are gonna be awful and some of it really is, but I'm having fun building this thing, and you know, that's sort of the main purpose of it, and of course, this is something we could try again in the future, try to fine tune it, and if you think you're such a hot shot sitting there in your computer chair or couch or something judging me, you can go ahead and make your own motorcycle track and share it with me, upload it to your YouTube channel and show me your motorcycle track, and I'll gladly check it out and write some you know, notes down. Sorry, other motorcycle, shouldn't have left you there, but you know what, I can spawn an indefinite amount of you, so you don't have any value, I'm sorry. Okay, watch out, watch out. So we can then, of course, we'll fill in this area with some jumps, but you can <laughs> get the idea. It's hard to get back up, and that's sort of, sort of supposed to be the thing. You know, like, whoever can race up this top part the best. And of course, like, if you're better at terraforming, you'll probably wanna make this, you know, track a little wider. I feel like that would control things a whole lot better. I think that, uh, 
Troublemaker with the gold brick went away. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe it's for the better, because I need to focus on this. I'm gonna give it one more shot around. Whee! See, once you hit that jump dead on, you can make it. But that's the hard part, you know. I'll just zoom in a little bit more, too. Woo! And then make this turn. The turn's a little weird. <laughs> but I like it. You know, it's flaws, give it spunk. And then, you know, I'm just gonna shortcut it. You know, I might be docked a few points, or, you know, might be, you know, last place, technically. But I'm having a good time racing. But now just so that we can get a good idea about what everything looks, because this is one messy motorcycle track as it is. Let's go ahead and, um, let's see. There is the painting tool right here. Now, pick mode. Plains grass, like, I don't know, like, it's, painting's really weird here. Why don't we go ahead and try the free build mode? I feel like this is something I need to try out a little bit more. I'm not quite the master builder, so, hmm. I wanted to change, here, hold triangle. Oh, I can, I can change this kind of stuff. Okay, so this is how I change colors and stuff. And right now, like, I have a wood color, I have a mud color, I have just reddish brown. Let's try the mud color. I think that would actually look pretty cool. So let's go ahead and zoom out. Um, well, okay, hold on, I gotta change the color. There you go. Um, and then I can paint this stuff. There we go. And let's hope that this actually looks like a cool racetrack at the end of the day, and not just a big, you know, splat of chocolate pudding. <laughs> that would be awkward. It's not something I want for a racetrack. And one thing we could also do is we can put a little box on the side to make it look like hay bales, because you might see in like actual motocross tracks, that's sort of, you know, like a common theme, is that you will see, um, can I do, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, I gotta change the color again. But uh, can I change the type of, like, I guess it's only circular, can you paint, okay. But um, you can usually put little hay bales on the side of everything, and like, it'll sort of, you know, like point out where the racers are supposed to go so that they don't fall off the track. It looks like somebody just spilled chocolate pudding out everywhere, I gotta be honest. Maybe there's like a better track color or something. Look at this guy racing the track with this golden brick. <laughs> But it does make it easier to see where to go at the least, so that's good. And you know what, if this build is horrible, and all you guys are gonna laugh at me, at least, one, I had fun making it, two, it's sort of a learning experience. I'm learning a little bit more how to terraform, how to make things drivable. I mean, in general, just riding this motorcycle on normal terrain is pretty tough. Maybe there is a better one. This guy is pie, like he's gonna smash somebody's face with that. That poor person. But yeah, let's try it one more time now that we sort of see where we need to go. And maybe I'll put like a black and white checker mark right here so that people know that's like the start and finish line. Ooh, ooh, we made it that time. Ooh, this is a good run. Oh, messed that jump up a little bit. I feel like we definitely need more space per jump next time we ever do this. And then we have a straightaway here, which we can change. We can make like an extra jump there. Maybe we can like make like a super big jump or something. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I wish we could make like a loop to loop, but I don't think that's gonna work in this game. All right, so here's like our last jump, and we can like sort of like have a big runway up to it. And you might see that I sort of made it like a staircase, and that's because the flatten tool, sort of like, not the flatten tool, but the uh, smoothing tool, really does like to make it so that, you know, it like it works better with staircases. So I'm gonna try to make it like that. We should be able to get some decent air off of something like this. And if we do this, it's sort of like gonna be like a sharp landing. That way we can get a lot of speed off it, and then zoom our way to the finish line. So now all I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and where should we make the checkered mark? I guess just sort of like on the top of here, right? It would make the most sense. So let's go ahead and like make it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and back out of here and go into the free build tool. Cause I just sort of like how this controls a little bit better. And is there like a pure black? Black, okay. Now I just gotta change the size so that it's like, I don't know, like almost brick by brick would probably be the best way. So let's go ahead and zoom in. And I'm just gonna, it's gonna be hard because there are certain Bricks here that are like, you know, like that. So let's just try it. I'm gonna go ahead and try to paint this as best as I can. I'm going in like one by one at this point. I removed some, that way I can properly make these, you know, the way I want them, and that way I can properly paint them, because you can't paint them correctly if they're just, you know, different size pieces. So now that I've done that, I should be able to go over here, and I'm starting to get used to how to build. And that's sort of another big, you know, focus of today's building episode, our first ever one, is to sort of figure out how this whole thing works. But now that I've seen this, um, no, 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 okay, I'm doing things okay. Let me go ahead and uh, pick this, and then go back to black, just like that, and then we can do this one. All right, then, so there's a lot more, a lot better of a finish on, of course, if I wanted to go in and make it all one by one, I could eventually go ahead and, um, 
make it all checkered and stuff. But for right now, I'm not too worried about it. I think that is our little thing. So the last thing I wanted to do here today was probably just go ahead and um change this um costume instead of this. Now, we don't really have any biker equipment, but I figured piece by piece, like this looks like a lot like a motorcycle helmet. So does the space astronaut helmet, but this looks more, I mean, maybe not. Are they both? Actually, this guy looks like he has a motorcycle helmet. Um, the face doesn't matter, so we can make him a pirate. Sure, why not? Um, the hair won't matter either, because we'll have the helmet. But we're just gonna try to make this guy look like a motorcycle racer as much as we can. Um, it would be hard for most of this stuff, but that sort of looks like a motorcycle jacket. Of course, it's more of like, you know, like a road hog kind of, you know, I'm riding, you know, with my low rider motorcycle or whatever, more than like, you know, motocross racer, but it's something. I think it looks better than most of the other ones for right now, since we don't have a ton of stuff. We'll go ahead and make it like black so it matches the color and yellow hands. Actually, let's make him look like he has gloves. There you go. He's actually shaping out to sort of look like he's a motorcycle racer. Now, when it comes to legs, I wish you could change like the base color of things. Unfortunately, you cannot. Maybe we'll just go normal black legs like that. Um, we don't really need to give him a back of anything, so nothing. No cape. All right, then that's actually not too bad. That's sort of a motorcycle rider there. Very, very cool. So we're gonna go ahead and give one more shot. We're walking like we have a peg leg uh, because I had the peg leg face. So the animation depends on the face. So let's actually change the face because I don't wanna, like, I don't know how I was gonna ride a motorcycle if he has a limp leg. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and just do a forest man or something. I'm not sure. Let's do the astronaut. He seems to have the base you know, animation. So we'll go ahead with that. We'll um, go ahead and set up one more motorcycle. We know the finish line now. This is an awful finish line. It's a stripe of zebra tastiness, right? And then we'll go ahead and finish it up for today. Is it perfect? No, but it was a fun learning experience and I can't complain about that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's ride this motorcycle track one more time. Woohoo! jump. Oh, I missed it this time. It's so tough to get that one because it's all very easy to get knocked off the straightaway. But that just means we need to make like a much wider track if we ever do this again. <laughs> because it's just so easy to do that. We just gotta take it slow too. Sometimes taking it slow is all you can do. Move, cow, you messed me up. I blame the cow if anything went wrong in this episode, it's the cow's fault. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed And of course, suggest your own in the comment section. If you have some cool building ideas you'd like to see in a building episode in the future, let me know in the comment section below because I'd love your feedback. But for right now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Lego Worlds. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment motorcycle zebras. So now you've watched the end of the video, and you are a zebra task. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.